Good morning. My deliverer from angry nations, you set me above my assailants. You saved me from the violent man, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those you stir to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. The slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what, then do what you have heard from the Father. And they answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. And Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have no one father, God. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. The three young men in the fiery furnace chose to be faithful to the one true God rather than fall down and worship idols. And for that, God delivered them and uh, gave them freedom and peace. Our world is without freedom and without peace. There's a great deal of turmoil because God has no place in our world today. And so there's confusion, there's killing, there's doubt, and all kinds of chicanery going on. And Jesus in the Gospel tells us that if you are true to me, Jesus, who came from God, then you will be my disciple. What a beautiful thing. If we try to be true to the Word of God and faithful to that, following Him, then we are His brothers and sisters, we are children of God. And He says, you will live in the truth, and the truth will set you free. Because we're here this morning, of course, we're trying to live in the Word of God, we're trying to follow Jesus, and we're trying to seek the truth. We're not living in sin, which is error and confusion and uh, dis disruption of all kinds. We are following Jesus, and the truth in Jesus will set us free. There's an internal freedom. We may be not free in many senses in the world, but there's an in, in, internal freedom that we enjoy by following Jesus because we know the truth. We don't have that confusion and that turmoil in our lives.
Trusting in the Lord who saves, let us offer our prayers of petition. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to uphold her in times of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, may the Lord bless them with the gifts necessary to serve their people with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by illness or addiction, may God's promise and generous love be a comforting presence to them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are gathered here to worship, may the Lord give us the wisdom and faith to make our homes true domestic churches. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, and we remember this morning, especially Dorothy Getz, who died yesterday, that they may soon find eternal peace and rest in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of those who are suffering in our parish and our families, those who are suffering from confusion and doubt. We ask God to touch their lives with his truth and give them the freedom that they need. We pray to the Lord. And we offer this Mass this morning, especially for Jan Smith and the Smith family, and for the Sander family, we pray to the Lord. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, hear our prayers, for we bring them to you confident in your care for us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive back, O Lord, those sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the, the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Be A prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 